Hi, I'm Jean Ann Wright, and for the past 25 years, I've been a professional quilter. For the first 20 years, I was editor-in-chief of Quilt Magazine, and for the past five years, I've been a designer of quilts and fabrics. My newest design is this log cabin trim tool, manufactured by Creative Grids. It has unique markings to help you trim your log cabin blocks so that each block will be perfect when it is finished. It also has the Creative Grip non-slip dots and a non-slip rim to hold the ruler in place while you are trimming. Let me show you how the trim tool works. You only need to precision cut one piece for your block, and that is the center square, a two and a half inch square. The strips themselves can be any width. They can be a varied width. They can even be ripped. They only need to be rotary cut to a precise width on just one side. You can use all kinds of strips. Here is the leftover binding strip that I have. Here is a strip that I cut away from the backing of a quilt. And sometimes I cut strips from yardage. And when I do, I cut them a smidge over an inch and a half, so I will always have something to trim. One of the nice features of the log cabin trim tool is that you can save time by chain sewing. Here are my, here is my strip and my four log center squares in place. You can pin if you want, but you don't have to pin. You sew four rounds around the center square. And I finger press my strips when I'm sewing them in place. But before I use the trim tool to trim my block, I always press with an iron for a good firm press. Now I'm going to use the outside marking on the trim tool and position it right over the center square of the quilt. I'm going to trim up and across. I'm going to give my block a half turn, and once again, I'm going to trim up and across. There you have it, my center of the block is trimmed. Now when I add my second strip, I only have to line the side that is rotary cut up against the edge of the strip, and it can overlap a little bit because that will be trimmed later. And again, you can pin in place or not as you prefer. Now that I've added my second round, let me show you how this one is trimmed. This time I'm going to use the middle square on the trim tool, and I'm going to trim up and across. Didn't quite get that one. And once again, I'm going to trim up and across go through my seam allowance here. Here is my third round added to my trim tool and I'm going to, as I have done before, trim up and across and once again turn the block a half turn and trim up and across. So there you have it, a perfectly trimmed log cabin block. You can see how quickly it goes. Now the only, the courthouse blocks are also trimmed the same way as the log cabin, but the half log cabin blocks are trimmed a little differently. So I want to show you them because in a half log cabin block, you don't have a center square. You always have a square up in one corner. So on this, you have your half log cabin marking in the upper corner. So I position my block on my cutting pad with the square in the upper right corner. And I trim up and across to get the tag ends of those strips off. And then I turn my block a half turn and my tool a half turn. And now I'm using my log cabin squares to trim the strips up and across. So there you have it, trimming your log cabin blocks, your courthouse step blocks, and your half log cabin blocks with the new log cabin trim tool by Creative Grids. Have lots of fun sewing your quilts.